The Turkish parliament will have its first plenary session on June 23 during which the oath-taking ceremony of the newly elected members will take place. The MPs will gather at the General Assembly of the Parliament at 3.00 p.m., local time, 12 o'clock GMT. Supreme Elections Committee announced the official results of June 7 parliamentary elections on Thursday. According to the official results, the Justice and Development AK, party leads the way with 258 MPs elected to the Turkish parliament. The Republican People's Party, CHP, has 132 seats, while the Nationalist Movement Party, MHP, and Pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party, HDP, each have 80. After swearing in, the parliament members will elect the speaker. The Republican People's Party's, CHP, freshly elected Danes by call will preside over the assembly until another speaker is elected to the parliament. By call will be given this honor because he is the oldest parliament member at 76. Candidates for the seat of Parliament Speaker will submit their applications after the first plenary session and the oath-taking ceremony. The deadline for applications will be June 28. According to Turkish Constitution, the election of the Speaker shall be conducted via secret ballot. The first two ballots require a two-thirds majority of the total number of members. In the third, the absolute majority is needed. If this cannot be obtained, a fourth ballot shall be held in a runoff between the two candidates who have received the highest number of votes in the third ballot. The election of the Speaker shall be completed within five days after June 28. Forming Government As none of the four parties has the necessary majority to form a single-party government, they are forced to negotiate to form some type of coalition following the opening of parliament. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is expected to ask the AK party to form a government seeing as the official results have been announced Thursday. Turkey's constitution stipulates that a new government must be formed within 45 days following the president's demand. If no government is formed, the country will have to hold early parliamentary elections.